Madden 16 has to be one of the best Maddens in quite a long time. I got an email from Timothy, who's one of my subs here on the channel. Actually, has a YouTube channel. I'll leave a link down in the description because he does a lot of broadcast style CPU versus CPU videos on his channel. So if you're interested in those, give Tim a sub or at least a few views. He told me that Madden 17 was worth a try and it was really, really good on PS5. It was actually downright incredible. And that was on the Ignite engine. So I decided to even go a step further back because after doing some research, I found out that most people thought Madden 16 had better quarterback AI for the CPU than Madden 17. But if you are interested in seeing some Madden 17 gameplay, I will show you that in my next video. But you could see here, I mean, not only was this game just phenomenally good from a broadcast standpoint, because in this Madden, they really focused on changing the broadcasting angles led by Jim Nance and Phil Sims. A lot of people were kind of tired of them at this point, but man, listening to them now, this gameplay the game itself feels like a real NFL broadcast, and it's something that I miss quite a lot. Not to mention you see playing in the background is this whole intro game that you get to play as the Steelers going against the Cardinals. That cinematic was really, really good. And I mean, this is the year of 2015. Cam Newton wins MVP. Le'Veon Bell and Antonio Brown are still in the NFL. Peyton Manning beats the Carolina Panthers to win a Super Bowl and ride off into the sunset. This was also the first year the NFL pushed back the field goal extra point to, I think, like, what, a 35-yard field goal now? So there was a lot of change there. It's, it's quite interesting to actually go back and look at all the things that's changed in the NFL. So you know I'm a huge Panther fan, and this Super Bowl really, really hurt me at an emotional level. So I replayed Super Bowl 50, Cam Newton versus Von Miller and Peyton Manning with the Denver Broncos, and I put a few clips for you guys to check out the graphics, the animations, the replays, the camera angles, the halftime show, the Super Bowl presentation in itself. And just to remind you how good this game actually was. I wouldn't have put it before playing it as one of my top Madden games, but after playing it, I think it's got to be up there. At least from a broadcasting standpoint, if you want to play CPU versus CPU, I really think you should give this Madden a shot. And I challenge you to watch all of these clips. Look at how players interact with each other how momentum seems to be realistic and it's a lot closer to what we want nowadays in Madden. And I think back then we might have taken it for granted. Now granted, this is on the Ignite engine. We are now on Frostbite. But let me know down in the comments what you think of these clips. What are your thoughts on Madden 16? Hey, what's your favorite Madden of all time? I think mine still is gonna be Madden 2003. I'll catch everybody later. Peace out. The Steelers are out of time and the Cardinals are the Super Bowl champions. Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. The time for talk is over as we are just mere moments away from the Super Bowl. Two teams now have a chance to prove they are the best. It's the Panthers going up against the Broncos. Now let's head down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for today's matchup. Broncos, Panthers, coming up on EA Sports, we welcome you to Santa Clara, California for today's game. It's Super Bowl 50, Phil, a milestone game in the history of the NFL. And do the players at this point have any feeling at all about the bigness of this one? Man, Jim, all they're thinking about is the job they got to do. They trained all their lives to be in this position. And you take all that practice and preparation and make sure you put it on display here at today's game and try to be a Super Bowl champion. What's the word from down by the benches? Danielle Bellini has the latest. Thanks, guys. Super Bowl 50 is a very special milestone for the NFL. Super Bowl I was played back in 1967 at the L.A. Coliseum. As you recall, the Green Bay Packers beat the Kansas City Chiefs on that day. But I'm sure neither of those teams could have imagined the Super Bowl growing to be as big as it is today, guys. That being said, we've got two teams out here who desperately want to make history by winning the Super Bowl tonight to ensure they're the ones that are remembered and that everyone is talking about 50.
50 years from now. Back to you guys. And this milestone event, Super Bowl 50, has officially commenced. into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. One of the biggest icons ever at quarterback, Peyton Manning. Here's a look at the offense, and watch out today for Demarius Thomas, who is tremendous after the catch. Well, we have this phrase that we say, and we mean it adoringly. Demarius Thomas is a beast, absolutely on the outside. He can run by you, he can run around you, he can fake you out. He just has everything you want in a wide receiver. Second down and six. And this is dropped. As we take a look at the defense, you'll be taking a look today at defensive end Charles Johnson, who never takes a playoff. Charles Johnson, he knows how to get a sack. And, man, this Carolina defense up front, they are rugged and tough. And Charles Johnson leads the way. Manning standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Makes the catch in the open field. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Anderson's going to take the handoff now. Tackle down. First down at the 48. Faldo with the grab. Faldo's tackled right at the 42. When you run that drag route across the field, it is not as easy as it looks. Second down, four to go. And it's in the hands of Emmanuel's a target. Second quarter is underway with this snap. Charles Johnson gets to him for the sack. The third down, and they get back to the quarterback and take him down. Launches it down the field. Clutch catch. How about that play by Cam Newton? The man is big and strong, can run, and he can throw down the football with anybody. Benjamin has got it. Second down and 11. Ball is out, and it's a takeaway. No one's going to get him now. He's at the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Cam Newton takes it from the shotgun. Jonathan Stewart with the catch. Second down and 10. Two hands on the football and has the catch. Nearly been focusing on getting some of their big weapons involved here in the first half. Benjamin's been a menace out there in the secondary with huge first half. Back up top. The Panthers get a first down. And that's a touchdown, and they inch closer. Thanks, Jim. I'm Larry Ridley, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. All you want at the Super Bowl is a highly competitive game, and that's what we have. Both teams have to feel like they're in good shape, and that should lead to a wild finish down the stretch. So let's take a look at the highlights from the first half. Panthers with the ball midway through the second. Newton's on point with the throw. Panthers later on the drive. Newton's on target here. And he'll be tackled down inside the 20 at the 17. Later on the drive, the ball will pop out here on the run. Broncos end up recovering the football. Broncos push the lead to 10. Third down from inside the 50. Newton's on target here, and he goes in for the touchdown to cap the drive. Panthers now down by just three. And with that, we'll head back now to San Francisco, where Jim and Phil are on the pitch. Second half gets rolling now as he takes the snap. From the gun, Newton. That's Newton over to Olsen. Now moving to change, picking up that first down, and Jim, of course, there's no time to panic. It Newton in shotgun formation. It's wide open. And that's a gain of 13. The Panthers take it from the 33. Intercepted. First down at the 19. Caldwell with the grab. Caldwell's 
Mark back there and keep bending. You gotta take some chances. Go on the offensive on the defensive side. Here is the first snap of the final quarter. Fumble the football. I promise you one thing, you're gonna get more carries. First down at the 36. Here's another handoff. Third and forever. Looking long. And intercepted. He's brought. He made the interception. Newton's back in shotgun formation. Complete to Greg Olson. They're on the field, don't they? And they're, they're very calm, and they should be. That first down, they're right in this game. Don't look down the field for that big play. Cam Newton takes it from the shotgun. Intercepted. Going to take it the distance. The 30, the 20, the 10. Nobody was. The Panthers will take the snap from the 45. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. Now on first down, every snap, second and long. And the pass is picked off, and that will all but do it. Up with the stop, the play, the takeaway at just the right time. Yeah, listen, I, I give the defense all the credit in a situation like this. You know, they took it. The Denver Broncos have won the Super Bowl. The Lombardi Trophy heading back to Denver. All the dreams coming out of youth. The emotion of it all, it's almost overwhelming. To realize a dream from the playgrounds, to all the practices, to one day have your hands on the Lombardi Trophy.